Good afternoon to you all. Yes, yeah, welcome to our program, Right to Read. Let's see. Now, today we are going to learn a very simple thing. That is, we'll see, before and after. Before and after. Let's learn the concept. Uh, what is before and after? Yes, before that, shall we switch on to the lesson? Yes. Now, can you read here this uh, example? Listen to this. Have my breakfast. I go to school. Now, there are two sentences. What are they? Read with the recording. I have my breakfast. I go to school. Two incidents. I have my breakfast. I go to school. Now, let's see this sentence. I have my breakfast before I go to school. When do you have your breakfast? I have my breakfast before I go to school. A good habit. I have my breakfast. I go to school. Then we can join. We can all say these two ideas uh, in a more meaningful way. How? Yes? I have my breakfast before I go to school. I have my breakfast before I go to school. Now, these two ideas have been combined, are being joined, combined with the word before to give more meaning to the sentence. Before I go to school, I have my breakfast. Now, next sentence. My father returns home from work. He does some exercises. Yes, my father returns home from work. He does some exercises. When does he do some exercises? Yes, look at the two sentences. Read them once again. My father returns home from work. He does some exercises. Very good. Now we'll see. My father see. does some exercises after he returns home from work. We know. After returning home, after my father returns home from work, he does some exercises. What are the two sentences? My father returns home from work. He does some exercises. Then join two ideas together using after. My father does some exercises after he returns home from work. It's very simple. Okay, we'll see the slide again. Now, these are the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, like that. Then Wednesday, today is Friday. Yes, Thursday is before Friday. Wednesday is before Thursday. Friday is after Thursday. Then Monday. Monday is after Sunday. Tuesday. Yes, Monday is before Tuesday. In the same way, before, after. You know, before 12 now, this is 12 o'clock. Now, before 12 means 11, 10, 9. After 12, after 12 o'clock, 1, 2, 3 o'clock. That is after 12 before. Now you can understand what is before and what is after. Yes. Look at these two examples. In the morning, he says, before I eat breakfast, I get dressed. Before, before I eat breakfast, I get dressed. Get dressed and the Before I eat breakfast, 
Shio he gets ready. Get dressed. Then in the afternoon, afternoon, before I eat lunch, I ride my bicycle. Now see, before, before he eats lunch, before I eat lunch, I ride my bike. See, uh, before, before. Can you read two examples once again? Before I eat breakfast, I get dressed. In the afternoon, before I eat lunch, I ride my bike before. Now here, in the morning, can you remember? Before I eat breakfast, I get dressed. In the evening, after I have dinner, I read a book. After I have dinner, I read a book. Normally, as a habit, he reads a book after dinner. After dinner. It's a very simple uh, uh, idea. Before and after. Now, can you also suggest or read or tell what do you do before breakfast? Before breakfast. Shall I give my uh, idea, my answer? Okay. Before breakfast, I uh, take a pill. Before breakfast, I, uh, I take a pill uh, for my illness. Pill. Near the behead, I take my medicines. Before breakfast, I take my medicines. In the same way, say, would you please say something that you do before breakfast? Yes. After. After breakfast. After breakfast. My example. After breakfast, I take a banana. I take a banana. I eat a banana after breakfast. What about you? Yes. Before go to school. Before go to school. What do you do? Before go to school, I, yes, I take my breakfast. Before go to school, I take my breakfast. Then, yes, what do you do? Then, after uh, go to school, then what do you do? You learn. Huh? Eight subjects. For the day you learn eight subjects. Then dinner. Before dinner. Yes. What do you do before dinner? Before dinner, I watch news. That is my sentence. Before dinner, I watch news. Yes, yes. After dinner. After dinner. Shall I give mine? After dinner, I tidy up the kitchen. What do you do after dinner? Do you go to bed? Straight after dinner? No. Then after dinner, I do my homework, you can say. Yes. What else? Then, before go to bed. Before go to bed. I take a body wash. I wash my, uh, I brush my teeth and take a body wash. Before go to bed, I take a body wash. What about you? Before go to bed. Then, after go to bed, normally we don't do anything, but we think uh, the things that we uh, uh, did for the day. Just after go to bed, yes, we recollect. We just uh, think the things that we do for the day. Yes. 
Now you can practice this by writing the things what you do. Now as we practiced, you can write down the things what you do before and after these activities. Will you be able? Uh, let's see the activity which is given in the textbook. Now, just read what we have to do. Use this table and construct sentences using before or after. Uh, there are some sentences you have to complete, you have to construct, you have to build up sentences using uh, phrases from each grid then you can join the ideas using before or after. We'll see what are the sentences. What the sentences are. Please here. brush your teeth. You must clean your room. I will leave. Only. You can play. Yes, what are they? What are they? Once again, listen to it. Please brush your teeth. Next one, number two. You must clean your room. Third one. I will leave only. Fourth sentence. You can play. Then you have to construct sentences using these Endings. Now we'll see what they are. You go out to play. You go out to play. Next one. You go to bed. You go to bed. You finish your homework. Last sentence. I finish my work. Now, do you know? Huh? Then you have to start. You have to build up your sentence using huh? one phrase from this here. Please brush your teeth. When? Before or after? You go, to, you go out to play. You go to bed. You finish your homework. I finish my work. You know, the suitable ending for this sentence, please brush your teeth. Yes. Now, you can write out uh, all the sentences. Join in these ideas with this using before and after. Then, yes, we'll see the slide. You know the homework. After the lesson, just, just read. After the lesson, you can download the app Read to Me Student Edition. Go through the lesson again. Study the things. After that, you can play. Okay, bye.